Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a request on one of our previous videos about a background video. Somebody was wanting to put a color overlay over it so they could read the text better. If you've got a busy sort of video in the background, sometimes the text get lost. So we'll show you how to do that today. Um, we're also going to show you how to build this from scratch. And I've added a little fun factor here. I've actually put a little spaceship that when you scroll down, it's going to roll down the screen and shoot across like that. When you roll back up, it's going to go the other way. Really easy to do. No coding involved in this at all today. But as you can see, that's a really eye-catching effect. And everything on there is very easy to read, which is exactly what you want. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. There's our little video section right there. I'm going to add a new little section underneath it. I'm going to just click on the existing section, hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section for mine. And inside mine, I'm going to throw a single column. Initially, I'm just going to use a blurb module for mine. Obviously, you can use whatever you need to use for yours. Great. Well, I'm going to leave that just like that. And let's delete this section here. Okay, so we've just got a section here. Inside, we've got crazy little blurb module there. Let's just go into the blurb module. I'm going to leave the title and the content exactly like it is. I'm going to use an icon rather than an image. Let's just roll down a little bit here. Use whatever icon works for you. I'm going to go to my design now. I'm going to pop all that text in the middle. If you go to the regular text setting right here, it'll do both the heading and the content right there. But of course, you can do the title and the body separately, and I'll adjust these in a moment. Okay, well, let's add a little video background to this. I'm going to use an MP4 for this today. So I'm going to go into the section itself that this is all sitting in, the blue tab right here. Always find background under content, the first tab there. Fourth tab along is background video. If you're not sure about backgrounds, take a look at our background video in the Divi for Beginners playlist down below this. We go through this in great detail. But I'm just going to go to this tab. I'm going to add a background video. I've already got a few up here on my site. If you click on one, it'll show you an example of it. If you want to play it, you can just hit the play button there. I think that's the one I'm going to use. I downloaded mine from pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Great place for free stock videos and stock images and what have you. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hit upload video. And as you can see, it automatically uploads it there. Now it may look a little glitchy to you. That may be my screen recording software here, but it's usually very smooth effect on your website. One other thing that I probably do, I'm going to throw an image in the background while we're here, which is the third tab here. And the reason that I'm going to do this is because if you're on a slow, let's just throw that one in. If your viewer's got a slow internet connection, the video may take a second or two to actually load. If you put an image in the background, at least they'll see the image. You can do it with a color or a gradient as well if you prefer. But I usually put something in there, so there'll be something in the background, like I say, if they've got a slow connection. Great. Well, we've got our little video going in the background there. Let's just save our changes. Okay. Well, let's go back into our blurb. I'm going to switch that writing around, make it white so we can read it a little bit better. So over in design, I'm going to go to my title text. I'm going to make that white. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it probably semi bold. And let's make it a lot bigger. Let's capitalize it as well. Great. And for the text, I'm going to roll down and do pretty much the same thing body text. Of course, you can choose any font or anything else you want. Divi's got a ridiculous amount of fonts. To audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example right there. 
I'm going to use the default for mine today. I'm going to make it white in color. And again, I'm going to make that semi bold just so it's slightly easier to read. Okay, well, that's readable, but with that busy sort of video in the background there, some of it's kind of getting a little bit lost there. This isn't actually too bad. And what I was being asked was somebody wanted to put a, an overlay in the background between this module and the video there so they could read their text a little bit better. Really easy to do. To do that, we're actually going to go into our row. Green tab for the row, as you saw there. Remember, content's always under background. Or I should say, background's always under content. <laughs> I'm going to give it a black background. As you can see, let's put that black background in there. But I'm actually going to click on the dark field right there. When you do that, these sliders will come up. The variegated one over here is opacity. And it'll start showing some of your video through there. Now, as you can see, that writing is really easy to read now. Makes a lot of difference. So I'm going to take mine down to where it works for me. And as you can see, there's your overlay right there. But if you want to have it covering your whole video, again, really easy to do. We just got to make this row the same size as our video. And that's easy to do. While we're in the row, let's go over to our design. If we go to sizing first, width, I'm going to slide that up to 100%. I'm going to copy the 100%, control C. I'm going to drop down to max width just below and paste it in there, control V. A few iterations of Divi about three or four years ago, they actually used to have a switch to make this full width. I don't know why they dropped that. As you can see now, that's made that full width. But we've got a, a gap, top and bottom. And that's actually the padding on the section. So I'm going to take the padding on the section away. And because I want this to be about the same height, I'm going to add a bit of padding to our row here while we're in it. So that when we take that away, it'll be a similar sort of size. So spacing just down below sizing. Let's add, well, 70 pixels. And hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. That's made this a bit wider here. Now we can save that. We can go into the actual section itself. And like I said, this is padding up here. Design. Padding is always in spacing under design. If you put a zero in there, you don't need to put PX or anything. It'll put it in there for you. You see it buffers it up against the top. Again, hit the chain. And it'll do the bottom for you. Perfect. So let's just save this so you can see the full thing. That is how to add an overlay on your full width, full screen video background there. Makes that writing a lot easier to read, as you can see. Now, just for fun, in my last one, I used Divi scroll effects to add that little spaceship that sort of comes in. This is entirely up to you, but it is a great eye catching feature and you can do some crazy things with it. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to add a new module underneath here, a little dark button to add a new module. For this, I'm just going to use an image. And of course, you can use anything you want. And you can make this image into a link if you need to. So if they click on the spaceship, it will take them somewhere. I'm not going to do that today, but it is an option if you want to use it. I'm going to click on the little image right there. I've got a transparent ping of a little flying saucer thing right there. I'm going to upload that image. As you can see, that's dropped that in there. Okay, what I want this thing to do is I want it to sort of come in from this side. Well, actually, it's going to come in from the bottom as they're scrolling down or come in from this side as they're scrolling up. So the first thing I want to do is make this absolute position so that our section's not as deep as it is here. I really didn't want it quite as deep as that. So in the image, we're going to go over to advanced and positioning right here. I'm going to change the position from default to absolute. As you can see, that shrunk down our little section there and this popped it on the left hand side there. I'm going to leave it just like it is there. You can shift it around with a little matrix there if you want to. And you can vertically and horizontally offset it if you want to. So let's go down one more and you'll see scroll effects. And this is common to all modules. First one is vertical motion. So that's up and down. Let's enable that. 
and as you can see it's put it right up there top of the viewports over here on the right hand side that's the top of the viewport right there and the bottom of the viewport is when it's down here so at the top I want it to be pretty much out of the way that's actually doing it okay and when it gets down the bottom well I want it to be a little lower down so it's down the bottom it's up that to perhaps 10 see what happens when we go down the bottom now yep that's fine it's dropping off the screen right there perfect and I want it to sort of zoom across the screen a bit so the next tab over is our horizontal motion if you click on that hit the enable switch and again we've got viewport bottom which is the bottom of the screen viewport top and the percentage you want to see there you can actually have it stay at a certain position by moving these little arrows if you want it to be 50% or whatever size you want it you can create a static level right there I'll leave that let's make that perhaps 40 and we'll make this one 60 or something it's pretty close okay now when we scroll down I want it to actually move it's moving slightly so viewport bottom Wait, let's put a crazy number in there let's put 50 in there and see what happens that's going down nicely and again viewport top if we make that negative negative 10 probably play with this you can get some wonderful effects a little bit more let's make that negative 20 so it's off the screen completely there we go then when we roll down it's coming in and it's going to zoom across there it's going down a little bit too far there I'll adjust that with a minute in a minute at viewport bottom I'm going to take that let's make it a hundred crazy number and it should slide across a bit more yeah it's doing it but if we go back to our horizontal I'm going to adjust that viewport bottoms too much let's take that back down to what it was before which I think is positive four now if we slide down as you can see it's shooting all the way across the screen which is perfect for me and I'm just going to add one more and that's going to be scaling which is getting bigger or smaller so again I'm going to select it I'm going to turn it on here at the bottom I want it to be invisible basically so I'm going to put a zero there at the top same thing I want it to be invisible but there's a period in the middle that I want it to be it's 100% of size which is the size it really is so it's going to come in small so we'll start off small it's going to get up to 100% halfway down the screen and it's going to stay there from 40% to 60% and then it's going to disappear down so let's do that as you can see it's coming in a bit smaller it's shooting across there I think I'm going to get rid of that and just have it 100% maybe at the 50% mark obviously you make this whatever you need to there we go it's growing it's coming in it's going out I'm going to leave mine just like that I'm going to save the changes let's just have a look with that out of the way we've got this at the top of the screen then when we roll down it's going to come in for the zoom across perfect just exactly what I wanted now at the moment it's zooming across in front of our little blur module which I don't mind at all but you may want that to go behind your writing if you decide you want that behind the writing we just need to flip these modules around to do that the easiest way I find is to hit the little purple button go over to wireframe mode which is kind of back end mode if we roll down there's our blurb there's our image I'm just going to drag it the image so it's on top of the blur if I go back to desktop view right now and I roll down again you'll see that little spaceship is now behind that writing so that's entirely up to you and it hasn't changed the sizing or positioning at all okay 
Well, let's save this and see what it's going to look like on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll go on down to where we were working. There it is right there. As you can see, as it rolls up, that spaceships. Let's do it with a slider so it's a bit smoother for you. That spaceship is coming in from the right-hand side, zooming across behind the text, disappearing off to the left-hand side, just like that. Now that's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if they scroll down your site, this sort of thing happens. They're going to know about it. So there you go. I hope that's answered that question about how to add an overlay to a video image to make your writing stand out better. And also how to add a nice little scroll effect. Get people's attention there. And as you may have noticed, not a single line of code in this today. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look at our playlist page. We've got scroll effects videos on there. We've got all kind of horror effects videos that you may be interested in. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dang.